Meet the 2018 Ford Expedition. It is the definition of the word big. So if you're someone who is into big things and big cars, the Ford Expedition is definitely for you. I mean, look at it, it is huge. So let's show you what this is all about. Giving you a little recap, the former generation looks something like this and that lasted for about 10 years. So finally, Ford comes out with this new generation expedition which is bigger and lighter than before and honestly look at it, it is such a stunner. What I love about it personally are these grills because they're so aggressive. If this thing is behind me, I would definitely move out of the fast lane. So believe me, this really clears up the fast lane faster than an ambulance. Moving over to the back. It looks similar to its younger brother, that is the Ford Explorer. So it has the same concept lights over there. And of course, 22 inch alloy wheels, which makes it look beautiful from the side as well. So let's get in and drive around. So for me to step in, we have an automatic side stepper that helps you get into the car. Very convenient, especially if you're not tall enough. So let's switch this on. It adjusts automatically to the last set profile. All right, and it is a push to start. The gear is a rotary knob, which is very tricky, especially when you're parking because of the P and R switch, because when you turn it, it actually switches very quickly. So even though you're trying to turn it once, it ends up going to the next gear very easily. So you have to be very careful when you're using that rotary knob. Right underneath that, you have the drive mode selection knob and you have about seven drive modes, including a sand mode, which is very efficient here in um, the desert. Right underneath that, you have your park assist, which helps you with parallel parking, perpendicular parking, as well as bringing out the car from a parallel parking. So that's very helpful. So what's on my left? We have the memory seat profiles. Underneath that, you have the mirror controls, the window controls. On the left of the steering, you have the light controls. And underneath that, you have pedal adjustment, which I think is such a fabulous feature because you can adjust the pedals to your comfort level and the steering wheel and the seat. So that gives you the best driving experience. On the steering wheel on my left, you have cruise control, which is adaptive cruise control and volume keys, voice commands on the right. Coming over to the center console, talking infotainment. This is a Sync 3 system with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, smartphone integration, and it has Wi-Fi, which is really amazing. Underneath that, you have a CD player, which honestly you don't find these days, so it's pretty cool that it has that. And beneath that, you have the AC control, so your aircon system all over here. It also has the option of heated seats, heating heated steering and uh, cool seats as well. What's always a concern while driving a vehicle this big or a full-size SUV for that matter is parking. Of course, it's easier to maneuver in a Ford Fiesta, but the Ford Expedition does a fabulous job as well. Why? Because of the front view cameras, rear view cameras and the 360 degree angle, it, it really helps you park. So parking is no longer a hassle. You don't have to be upset about not calling shotgun in this car because being in the second row is just as much fun. You can control the media, you have your aircon system and can we talk about the amount of space that's here? There is ample amount of legroom. Now everyone knows no one wants to be seated in the third row of an SUV just because it's really crammed up. But in the Expedition, the third row is just as comfortable. It has ample amount of legroom and also getting into the third row is really easy thanks to this grab handle. What's the difference between the second and the third row? The third row has a lot of plastic around it, while the second row still has that luxury leather feel and it is very premium. Also, the second row has reclined seats, as well as they can slide each and every one of them. A few quick features are massive storage space, a huge center storage, dual glove box, storage bins on the sides, 15 cup holders, the second and the third row seats can be folded flat out and look how much space you have there. You could have a party in here. 
It has six USB charging ports and a wireless phone charging mat. It has a new intelligent terrain management system with eight drive modes, adaptive cruise control, pre-collision warning and a huge panoramic roof. The Ford Expedition has a 3.5-liter EcoBoost V6 with a twin-turbo engine. It also has 400 horsepower and 650 newton meters of torque. That's a lot of torque for a car of this size. And it can tow up to 4 tons, so if you own boats or jet skis, you're not going to have a hassle towing that whatsoever. What's also very interesting is that it has the same engine as a F-150 Raptor. So considering both of those cars have this engine, it's pretty cool that the expedition comes on those levels. So one of the only negatives I could think about on the car, honestly, is this, which is my blind spot because it's the B pillar that is so wide, so I kind of can't really check my shoulder over. So according to me, that will be the only negative. And other than that, it is a fabulous car. I love the fact that it is so smooth, seamless drive experience and so powerful. So I really like it. So answering the most important question as to how much does this big bus cost, it costs 293,000 dirhams, while its competition, the Chevy Tahoe, costs about 263,000 dirhams. Even though this is a little pricier than the Tahoe, it is a newer car, and trust me, it is a lot of car for your money. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more coming your way.